Hi guys, so it has been a long time since I've been on here and I say that um, literally every video, um, but honestly there was a long time where I just didn't know what to talk about or um, I guess um, with this topic being in fear of talking about it, um, but I've realized that there is freedom in being able to talk about things and when you can talk about it you know what it is and you know how it makes you feel and you know how to address the issue in a way that works best for you and so I don't know how deep this video was going to get. I brought tissue just in case um, because you know sometimes we can get so used to only talking about topics that you know we have already overcame but rarely do we ever get vulnerable and we talk about you know just things that are currently that we may be dealing with um, and what I've you know discovered and found out is that you know what there's healing in that um, when you can you know tell someone hey this is what I'm currently going through have I 100% overcome it yet? No, but I have the power in knowing that I can overcome it. And so um, that's why today I kind of want to talk about um, body image and just um, just the way that we see ourselves. Um, not even so much how people see us, but um, the way we see ourselves. And I don't think I said my name. I probably should say that um, because it's been so long. But my name is Lexi, so welcome to my channel. Um, I'm also going to post this on my blog, which is Miera's Life. And thanks for clicking on my blog if you're watching this through that. Um, but so let's just kind of get into it. Um, for let me back up. So growing up, I was always, you know, um, like an active kid. I was a cheerleader for um, six or seven years and um, I was just kind of always active. Not necessarily, not, oh, like I bit my tongue. I'm sorry. Not necessarily um, going to the gym and like running and stuff like that. I, not like that. I was just like active. I was always doing things. Um, I was always a part of something um, that required physical activity. Um, and then once I graduated high school, I could see that things were starting to change a little bit. I wasn't cheering anymore. So, you know, I wasn't as defined and toned as I was when I was cheering. And so, you know, I was like, oh, okay. Um, but, you know, it, it was never an issue for me. It was never something that I was like found as a big deal I was just like okay actually after high school I went through a period of time where I wanted to be I guess what I called thick I wanted to have the big um, you know hips and butt and like just be that societal um, hourglass shape um, and I was wanting to do that for all the wrong reasons and I was wanting to do that to feel like I was what society found as pretty and um, there was a point in time where I had to sit and I had to you know self analyze and I had to be like you know like are who are you doing this for you know like if you want to gain weight cool but like who are you doing it for are you doing it for everyone else or are you doing it for yourself because if you're not, not doing it for yourself then why you know and I had to you know that self reflect that self reflection it really helped me and brought me back to um, where I needed to be so that time passed that was like three or three three or four years ago now um, as I've gotten older um, I think that self image has become a whole different thing if I'm just being honest and being transparent um, for a couple of months now um, I feel like I have um, just been questioning you know just the way that I you know feel or just the way that I look and um, you know you may look one way to want to, to, to peep so you may look one way to people but it's like how you feel is what I what I think is most important so 
you know, if I haven't been feeling my best, I, you know, dwell on that much longer than, you know, if people say something and then if I'm not feeling myself and then people are also saying something rude, it just, it's a bad combination. And so, you know, that's just something that I have been dealing with is just like, you know, just the whole like, just picking on myself and I don't feel like that's cool like why do we pick on ourselves and make ourselves seem like we are just you know not our definition of pretty or not our definition of you know how we should be physically and I just think that that is something that I personally have um been dealing with um I think that it's important to talk about it because you know I don't want it to be something that is you know something I don't talk about and then it just you know continues to progress worse in my head as far as like how I view myself do I believe that I am a beautiful person I really do uh, oh that sounds so bad but I I do but you know there are areas of my body that I just don't always like and you know I have to you know constantly constantly remind myself like bro like you're bugging like don't think like that you know and it's just like sometimes we're the only people that we would we will listen to and I've learned that mindset is everything so if you have the mindset that you're not enough or that you're not pretty or that you're you know too big or too this or too that you know you can really be hurting yourself and you can make things um, you know just worse for yourself and um, it's like when we pour positive things and I'm sorry I try not to cry in this video but when we pour positive things in ourselves that's when we get positive results and that's when we feel our very best and that's when um, you know our life starts to turn around but it's like when do you get to that positive mindset? When do you get to that place where you're like, you know what, I'm gonna have a positive mindset. And for me, that's why, you know, filming this type of video or writing vlogs about this type of stuff, it's helping me get to um, that mindset of, I'm gonna stop picking on myself when it comes to my weight. Like some of you are probably looking at this camera right now and being like, what is she talking about? But I think we all have different definitions of how we feel comfortable with ourselves. You know, to you, I might look skinny. To me, I might not feel that way. To you, I might look huge. To me, I might be skinny, you know? And so I think that that is, mindset is everything. And I am determined to have a mindset of not picking on myself and just, you know, not listening to um, just other people. Comparison is the worst thing that we can do to ourselves. Comparing ourselves to one another, I feel like women, we have that so terribly um, bad. We have that bad habit of, you know, if old dude like goes to go um, find someone else, like we compare, like, do we look like that person? Or not even in just that scenario. You know, if we walk past one another, we'll wonder, you know, like, what does she have that I don't have? Or, you know, ooh, she thinks she's cute. When you really on the inside, you know that that person is beautiful, but you, instead of just saying, hey, that's a, yeah, that's a beautiful looking lady. We try to tear them down in order to build ourselves up when really that doesn't tear, that doesn't really build us up. That just tears us down and it builds them up, you know, but when are we going to get to the point where we can build each other up, you know? Um, I think just the way that we can build ourselves up um, is just by not always listening to everybody's opinion about you. You know, you are the only person that um, is accountable for yourself. You are the only person that, you know, really understands how you truly feel in life. You are, you know, you and God, you guys are the only people that really understand, you know, um, and those are the only opinions that matter. You and God's opinion of yourself. Those are the ones that count. You could take everybody else's opinion into consideration, but that doesn't make their opinion law. You know, and so um, what I just am a strong advocate on is like, especially like men, like, so what if a guy tells you that you're pretty? So what if he tells you that you're beautiful? Like, you know how many other people will tell you that? Don't make that um, like 
oh, he said I'm pretty, so I must be pretty. No, like know that you're pretty for yourself and know that you're beautiful for yourself because when he does say that, it'll be like, oh, cool, like thanks. It won't be like, oh my gosh, like he said I was pretty. Like, no, it, it will be like, like I've heard that before because I tell myself that all the time. Um, and don't ever let a man make you feel like you are less because you're not his version of beautiful and you're not what he deems as beautiful. And if, guess what, girl, if he doesn't understand that, then he, to the left, to the left, he can go, okay? Um, and I just know I wouldn't ever want to put my, I wouldn't ever want to be in any relationship with a man like that. I would never want to be married to a man like that. If a man feels like he can say whatever to you about your body, no matter if it's going to hurt you or not, I feel as though, and this is my opinion, I feel as though that person does not deserve you. Nobody should ever feel like it's okay to intentionally hurt you, to intentionally say something that they know is going to hurt your feelings and be okay with it. If he says that it's, you know, I'm just joking, no. Like, there's, that's a true statement. There is um, truth behind every joke. So don't let somebody make you feel like that. Like, you don't have to feel less because of what someone else says. Like, you are beautiful, you are strong, you are, you have a beautiful mind, and I just hope that this video touched someone. I hope that it blessed someone. Um, I do plan on doing, you know, just more videos because this is helping me. Like, you guys have no idea. Um, I'm a person that likes to talk. I was going to type this in a blog, but I'm like, I don't know, like, how I would be able to get through writing this without crying all the time. I did really good not crying the whole video. Like, tears was coming, but I did really good um, just not crying. So, um, again, I hope that you guys were blessed by this video. If you want to see me more, more videos like this, please comment down below. Tell me what you think. Um, you know, I want to hear you guys' feedback. And you know what? I'm going to, well, you're going to help me. I'm going to help you. Okay? Okay. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I, I feel like I keep saying I hope, I hope, I hope. But I just hope you have a great day. Okay? See you guys. Check out my blog, mirrorslife.com. No, mirrorslife.weebly.com. I'll leave the link down below. Thank you. Bye.